Welcome back everyone to another explanation video here on Fox Tech. In this one, we're going to talk about and like explore the reasons why your iPad doesn't allow you to delete apps, but more importantly, how to make it so you can delete them. Let's get started. One of the main reasons you might be unable to delete apps from your iPad is due to restrictions set up within the screen time settings. These settings can prevent app deletion as part of their content and privacy restrictions. Here's how to address this issue. First, open the settings app on your iPad and navigate to the screen time section. If screen time is not already set up on your device, you'll need to follow the on-screen instructions to enable it. Once screen time is active, you can access and modify the settings that might be preventing app deletion. Next, look for the content and privacy restriction section within the screen time settings. Once you find it, tap on it to enter the, the menu. At the top of this menu, there's a switch to toggle content and privacy restrictions on or off. If you want to remove all restrictions, you can simply toggle this switch to disable them. However, if you prefer to adjust specific settings, keep the restrictions enabled and proceed to the next steps. To specifically allow app deletion, navigate to the iTunes and App Store purchases section within content and privacy restrictions. Here, you'll find the deleting apps option. Tap on it and set it to allow. This change will enable you to delete apps from your iPad. Additionally, if you want to allow the installation of new apps, you can adjust the installing apps option in the same menu. Setting this to allow will let you install apps without any restrictions. Another important step is to update or remove the screen time passcode if one is set. This passcode can sometimes restrict changes to your settings. To update or remove the screen time passcode, go back to the main screen time menu. There you will see options to change screen time passcode or turn off screen time passcode Follow the prompts to make the necessary changes, ensuring that you can easily modify your settings in the future. By following these steps, you should be able to resolve the issue and delete apps from your iPad without any problems. If all else fails, disabling all restrictions is an option, but adjusting the specific settings as needed is often the best approach. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Fox Tech for more tech tips and tricks. See you guys later.